is to use what's called a born shell function. A born shell function lets you define a set of characters in a list of commands to be executed if those characters are entered as a command. However, they're all executed within this shell, as opposed to creating a process to execute each command line. Suppose you want to change your prompt so that whenever you change your directory, the prompt itself contains the name of the current directory. This will require you to redefine the cd command so that when it changes your directory, it also updates your ps1 variable. Recall that ps1 is how the current prompt is stored. You can do this with a shell function. A shell function has a very specific format. First you have the name of the function and then a set of parentheses. The delimiting beginning and ending part of the function are an opening and closing set of curly braces. Inside the curly braces sits the body of the function, the commands to be executed if you run this function. Let me create a function called rcd, which stands for raise cd command. I would do that by saying rcd, parentheses, and then an opening brace. First, I want to change to whatever argument I've put on the rcd command line. So I say cd space dollar one. Once I've changed to that directory, I want to redefine the prompt so that it holds the now new current directory. I can do that by running the pwd command and assigning the result to ps1. This requires the use of the back quotes because I want to store the output of pwd into ps1. That line looks like this. ps1 equals double quote, back quote, pwd, back quote, space, dollar sign, space, double quote. Those additional spaces are there so that there's spacing on the other end of my prompt. Now when I change directories, my prompt will always reflect the current directory. Let me show you how it works. I've defined rcd in this shell. I've entered the text of this function directly into the shell, and now when I type rcd, to change back to my home directory, you'll see my prompt changes. If I type cd, the prompt won't change because cd has not been redefined. I've defined rcd as a new cd command. And as long as I use rcd, my prompt will continue to trace my current directory's path name. RCD is but one example of a very useful shell function. Additional shell functions that are also useful are described in the course text. Shell functions are located inside local storage, which means these functions will not be available to you if you move to another process. Also, to load them into the local environment, you have to redefine them every time you log in. In most cases, you'll put function definitions inside your dot profile file so that when you log in, they'll automatically be defined for you. There are some additional shell commands that you need to be aware of, and they're discussed in the text in detail. Further, we're not going to cover the applications that are described and developed in the later chapters of the text. For those of you that are interested in more information, I urge you to read those chapters. This marks the end of this video course. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. Whatever your opinion, I'd like to hear about it, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent. I'm particularly interested in suggestions on how to improve the video course. Please take the time to fill out the evaluation form at the back of the manual and send it to us at this address. 
If you have any questions about Unix or would like to know more information about our services, pass those requests along to that address as well.